Alrighty, I think we are live, ready to go. I think I've given enough time for people to join, hopefully. Um, notifications are out and all that other fun stuff. So we're gonna get started here. Um, apologies in advance. Uh, my pop filter that I put on my mic is, uh, let's just say broken, I guess. Um, kind of started to fall apart a little bit, so I don't have a pop filter today. <laughs> Um, which is rather unfortunate, but, uh, hopefully we can, uh, we can manage. Um, anyway, what's up everybody? How you doing? Uh, more Pokemon. Uh, everybody loves Pokemon. Um, so I did a lot of stuff in between streams. Um, I did a lot of stuff in between streams. Um, I think this Pokedex is about as filled as it's gonna be. Um, without breeding and without finding the other starters, which... Uh, I guess I'll have to transfer from my other version, maybe? I have heard that you can maybe get the starters in the post-game. I don't know the validity of that. <laughs> but yeah, we're um pretty much good here. I was in the Pokemon uh, contest area, just to see how I could do. I um, actually got this Milotic. I wonder if she has any ribbons on her. Do you have any ribbons? No, it doesn't count unless you beat the... Highest rank, that's a bummer. Um, I got all the way up to, uh, I think it's ultra rank, and then I couldn't get any higher than that, so, um, I'm gonna revisit that at another point. Um, but yeah, our entire team here is level 56, which is very, very nice. Um, I've also started adding the Platinum Dex exten uh, extension, um, which I'm doing that just because... <laughs> I mean, you don't actually have a Platinum Dex extension in this game, it's just a National Dex, but things that I recognized are from the Platinum Dex, uh, I've started adding on to that as well. Um, so I've been a busy, busy little bee. Um, so last time we left off right in front of Victory Road, I think today... I would like to try to reach the champion, but I also kind of want to deal with the lake spirits, or the lake guardians, whatever the heck they're called. Um, and we're dealing with psychic types, so I think Sheridan's got to go for now. Uh, we're going to replace Sheridan with Marcus, uh, just because he has false swipe. Uh, hey, True Warrior, what's up? I'm doing alright. Thank you for the hug. Much appreciated. Hugs back. Um... So the game is like really quiet for me. Um, is it quiet for anyone else? Does it sound alright? Ooh, now it's too loud for me. Well. Hey James, what's up? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Alright, um. See, so yeah, I think we're gonna go after the lake trio right now. Um, you know, that's gonna be fun, fun, fun. Uh, but I think that's what I wanna try to do. I'm a little bummed out that like it, doesn't count for the Pokedex, just seeing them in the cutscenes, but oh well, I can't remember if that's just how Diamond and Pearl slash Platinum were, or if this game's just being really stingy about it, so. Uh, how am I doing? I'm doing alright. Um, I've been feeling kind of crappy off and on this week, that's why there hasn't been too many streams. Um, kind of dealing with some flare-ups with this medical thing I got going on here, but... Uh, today isn't so bad, neither was yesterday, so I'm like, I'm gonna try to drum up the energy I have and stream, because I want to, and I also want to try to get to the post-game here. Dude. Go back up, thank you. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go, I guess we're gonna go after Azel first. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a while, um... Gotta go through a bunch of tests at the end of the month to try to see if they can find where the problem is, and then when they find the problem, they gotta surgically correct it. And so it's gonna be a whole thing, but, you know, it is what it is. So we'll get there eventually, just not for a while yet. <laughs> Time to suffer. Uh, about Pokemon, not the surgery thing. Anyway, <laughs> what's up, Xeon? How you doing? I'm clarifying that for anybody that was watching YouTube and was like, what? I'm like, that's just bad timing. <laughs> Definitely about IRL Kappa. 
Oh, you. Alright, um. Yeah, I think Azel's here, right? If I remember correctly, the water's back and everything's hunky dory. Hey, Nick, what's up? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. So depending on how far we get into the main campaign depends on uh, how easy it is to capture these legendaries. Uh, so it's more so on them than it is on me. In fact, I think we're gonna lead with Garibaldi because he's got Thunder Wave. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm also just gonna take a little bit of my time here and see if there's... Yep, something over here. Item? Item? Item anywhere? Items? Things? More things? More items? But yeah, I'm gonna- my goal is to have as much of the Pokedex filled out before we get to the postgame as possible, and... I think I've accomplished that once I get the, uh, the Lake Trio. Other than, like, the Platinum extension, but, like, half of the Platinum, like, Pokemon like Nose Pass and Tangle uh, Tangela for some reason, like you can only get in the post game, which is a little weird. But oh well, it'd be what it is. Ah, the site of my greatest achievement, greatest failure. <laughs> Where I lost a shiny as elf. Yeah, I think it was in Pokemon Diamond. Um, and then reclaimed it all those years later. So let's do a little little savorino here. And then I've got Marcus for false swipe shenanigans. Hello, friend. I have decided to absolutely not soft reset shiny hunt in this game because it just feel like it would take way too long, and there's no buff from the shiny charm, and it's just, eh, it's a whole thing. Alright, do it with the T-Wave. Ah, wow, that really hurts. What the heck, dude? I'm gonna put that light screen up. Oh, I didn't click ball. I almost want to. I almost want to reset. <laughs> okay, good. Hit with the paralysis. Better see a dark head here. This is Marcus's time to shine on stream. He's had plenty of times to shine in between the streams, catching all the Pokemon with False Swipe, but this 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 is his glorious debut. Oh, I forgot to give him leftovers rip. He's kinda he's kinda been my like side guy, like in between the streams. He helped level up Ivanova, he helped uh, catch all the stuff, he helped level all the baby Pokemon, and this, this guy's been a champ. That's why he's level 59. <laughs> I only have 25 Dust Balls, that's a little scary. Alright. So we're gonna play that game, huh? The Not Even Shake Once game. Where are the Pokeballs? I'm not feeling that this time around. Here, I'll, I'll throw one. I'll throw one. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> I caught all 800-something Pokemon now in Pokeballs. Uh, I'm, I'm done with that. Nuking as elf and ultra sun ultra moon. Yeah. Good times. Oh, nasty plot, don't do this. Okay. 
Hey, Jimkuz, how you doing? Come on. Come on. Yeah, baby. Oh, not even heckin' close. Dust balls OP. Like they really are OP. <laughs> Put it in a box. Alright. And save. That was relatively painless. I have a feeling Yuxi's gonna make up for that. <laughs> and if not Yuxi, then uh, Mess for it definitely is gonna make up for it. Oh god, I don't wanna deal with Mess for it. I might just throw a Master Ball at it, because I really just don't feel like dealing. But I also want to save my Master Ball in case there's like an elusive shiny. Uh, I don't know what I want to do about that. I might actually wait to catch Mesprit. Because I think you can get it for uh, your scene dex completion, just by looking at it and then it flees. I think. But I don't actually remember. Um, alright, where did it put as elf? <laughs> put it all the way at the beginning, didn't it? Yep. Alright, 148 goes... Which one are you? Yeah, okay, so it's... 48, 49. Alright. Still haven't found a Razor Claw. I have no idea where they put that. I'm assuming the post game. So that's why we don't have a Weavile yet. Alright, um... I should probably refill on, like, dust balls and things. It's probably not... A terrible idea. <laughs> the Master Ball and the Whiskash. And normally during these streams I, uh, I meme and I waste the, uh, the Master Ball. I might do that again, but eh. Then I remembered that, uh, the chances of, uh... <laughs> Finding, like, a shiny Geodude or something with Explosion are pretty high, so, you know. Maybe I should just keep it on hand, just in case. I think I'm gonna just buy, like, 80 of these. There we go. 100. Um, I need a refill on Quick Balls, too. By 42 and go up to 50. I gotta save some money for the Elite Four. Ultra Balls are fine. Okay. Let's go say hi to Yuxi. I see Yuxi. We all scream. Please get in the Pokeball. I don't know. Being an idiot. Okay, we're gonna walk around and I didn't use a rebel. Hey, Mike, what's up? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. You exist once more. Alright, come on. No encounters until we hit Uxie. Yeah, let's go. I already explored this lake, so I don't need to like look for the TM that's hidden here. Alright, we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. I don't know how I feel about this remix. It's like weird accordion thing in the background. It's like, eh, I don't know about that. I don't even know if it's an accordion. It just, it, 
it's a little strange sounding. This part sounds fine though. You know what? I'm gonna put up the light screen first. Get hecked. Shouts to the Azel Shiny Hunt. Yep! That's why I'm not doing that again. Not in a game where the shiny charm does a jack squat. Alright, T Wave is good. Now we're gonna hit with a couple of ice punches and see where we go from here. Yeah, I don't like whatever that background instrument is. The one is going like wop 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 wop. Amnesia. It's uh, a little scary. Shiny charm bad in this game. Uh, it only works on eggs. <laughs> it literally only works on hatching. So the only viable way to shiny hunt in this game is with poker radar and Masuda method. I'm guessing if they made it, like, overall, then Poker Radar would be even more broken than it already is. Like, you can already get, like, 14 Shinies in a row with Poker Radar. That's my... guess? Because Shiny Charm wasn't a thing in these games, so... I'm guessing they tried to balance it. Uh, because Poker Radar is, like, really kind of OP if you know what you're doing. So, that, that's my general guess. I have a feeling it'll probably be back to normal in the next games. I don't know for sure if that's, like, actually the case, but, like, that's... That's my theory. So, don't take that as fact. If we get to Gen 9 and they're like, Yeah, no, it only works on eggs again, then I'm gonna be mad, but... Alright, that's about as low as you're gonna get. Dushkball! Oh, I was gonna say first try? <laughs> Alright, don't really care about the light screen anymore, that was more so to keep Garibaldi alive. Any percent is stupid broken? Yeah. Yeah, the any percent speed runs down to like, what, 17 minutes? Although they patched the surfing on land glitch, so it's like, I don't... They patched a like, good number of glitches, so I don't know how that impacted any percent this week. I haven't really been keeping up with it too much. 17-17. Nice. No one's allowed to break any more records. 17-17 is where it's gonna stop. It's too perfect. All right. Dust balls are so strong, dude. Also, I forgot to use a quick ball again. <laughs> My God. All right, well, that's another one done. I'm gonna go at least pay a visit to Mesprit. If I have to catch it right now, I will, but I don't think I have to. At least I'm kind of hoping I don't have to. I'd rather just do that in the post game. I'm just not in the mood to deal with that right now. Alright, so this would be 145 when it evolves, 46, Mesprit, 48, Dialga, Palkia, and then Manaphy goes up there. Okay. Alrighty. So without dittos and without uh dealing with um catching Mesprit, that's about as full as the Pokedex is gonna get. Why Jubilee? No, go to Twin Leaf. What are you doing? Hey, Gastric Wall 8, how you doing? Um, 
Am I doing trading with viewers? Not at the moment, no. Um, if anybody here wants to trade, you're more than free to talk about it, but like, I personally, like, on stream, I'm not doing any trading with viewers at the moment. Maybe another time, but not now. I should probably get my Twitch dashboard up real quick. I just thought about that. Give me one second, guys. Dashboard stream manager. There we go. Okay. I just like having that in the background. That's the closest thing I have to stream alerts right now. Because I'm a goober and just refuses to... I refuse to, you know... Figure out how to get notifications via OBS. Right, I'm gonna save just in case anything's different. I don't think it is, but... Meow meow! Flew off somewhere. Goodbye, friend. Oh, right, we got Professor Rowan shows up. Yes. I'm doing my best to fill out the decks. I'm trying, Professor. Yeah, 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 it wants to... <sighs> it wants to play games! Oh, so fun. I love that it wants to play games. I love that. I hate that. Alright, so I think you said something about getting the Poketch at the, uh, or getting a Poketch application at Jubilife? But let me check the Pokedex real quick. Alright, it counted. Sweet. Um, so we are at 148 out of 150 seen. And then 142 out of 150. Like, actually caught. So I think what we haven't seen yet is Spiritomb, which, by the way, I am somewhere between... 29 and 31 on Spiritomb. I cannot find an NPC that I haven't talked to, so I'm guessing I'll find more in the post game because apparently there's an area in the underground that you can only get once you access the fight area, so we'll just get Spiritomb later. I, <laughs> I've, I've tried with Spiritomb for so much, for so much time. So yeah, we'll see Spiritomb from Cynthia, and we're going to see Napoleon from Barry. Who's gonna show us? Wait. 148 scene. We're only missing two po- wait. We're missing three po- oh wait, it's 151. Because it's counting, uh, Manaphy. Um, so yeah. We need to find somebody with a Torterra, and then that's it. I think I remember there being a Torterra trainer. In Victory Road? Don't quote me on that. But I think there is one. Alright, so that was short-lived, but, you know, Marcus got his time to shine. But we gotta switch back to the main team here. I know when I did a Platinum Nuzlocke, there was a trainer with a Torterra that... O code my uh <laughs> my tentacruel because I needed a free switch in. And I think that same trainer also killed my uh Lucario, so you know that was a, just a bad time. But I'm also trying to remember a run from like ten years ago, so I know they both went down in Victory Road, so. Alright, here we go. No, I thought catching the legendaries would take a lot more time than that. I should probably go get that app from the, uh... From the Jubilife TV company or whatever he said to do. In fact, while we're thinking about it, let's do that real quick. Before I forget and I'm like, ah, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. Get it from here. Oh, 
Where the heck is the guy? That's not the guy. No, I would not like to use another one. At least not right now. Just looking for wherever the president is. Where is he? The heck's the guy? Small child, do you give me the app? I highly doubt it, but I would laugh. Oh yeah, that's right. There are like two different colors of Poketch. I forgot about that. I want the blue one. Can I get the blue one? Mr. President, I've come to get this stuff. Okay, memo pad. Oh, we're really gonna have to do this. Okay, we're just gonna have to sit here and do this over and over. Just kinda hoping he would just give me everything in one fell swoop. Is that it? Okay, I guess that's it. What did he give me? Okay, he got, he gave me what I was looking for. We're not gonna deal with that right now, but it's nice to have. Just wanted to be sure that I got that app, at least. Alright, everybody's healed up. Let's do this thing. I may actually just use the repel here, because... Just because. <laughs> hey, Felix UG, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. What do we got here? I'm just gonna fight all the trainers that I come across. Hopefully it won't make me too overleveled, but like... I don't know if there's such a thing when dealing with Cynthia, so... Well, there is, but... Eh, this is kind of a crap matchup, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's not bad, it's just... Not great either. You know, for not having a status ailment, that did a lot more than I was expecting. Uh, that's not psychic, is it? Um, do you mean the trainer or the Pokemon? Because the trainer's definitely a psychic, but... in the big old bell Pokemon on the screen is a psychic type. But he seems to be using ghost types. Dark Pulse. Ugh. Uh, I wish Seal still resisted. You flinched! That's not nice. <laughs> yeah, it is. A psychic using ghost types, that is false advertising. Like, what are you doing? Ah, uh, poor Gengar doesn't have a levitate anymore. Feels bad, man. Oh, now he's got a psychic.
Alright, not bad. Not too shabby. Hey, First Directioner, how's it going? I know, it's been forever since I've streamed, right? Well, I mean, at least before Pokemon Brilliant Diamond came out. <laughs> been streaming relatively frequently. Um, you know what? Franklin took a pretty severe hit there. I'm gonna do this. We're just gonna go back and heal and then just kinda continue on. I went with diamond because uh, that's the copy I had when I was uh, when I was younger. So you know, nostalgia and all that. As for what younger me was thinking, probably saw a pretty giant blue dragon versus pretty giant pink dragon and went with blue. Well, pinkish dragon. Oh, it's literally just a dead end, okay. Oh man, it's so nice to not have to deal with HMs. That is like undoubtedly the best part of this game. Like probably even better than the underground is the fact that I can explore Sinnoh without having to deal with HMs. Nice. I hope you had a good time spending time with your sister. Hope it was a good visit. Mm, intimidate. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go for the wild charge. I don't think Ice Punch will do it. So I was just sitting here thinking, I'm like, you know, to save a little bit on the hit points, so I might just go for Ice Punch and then <laughs> Intimidate Star Raptor. Alright, we're done with that. That guy goes down. Full heal, we'll take that. Pretty sure there's a Dark Pulse TM right there that I see. If memory serves. Okay, that's just another way to hop back down. Alright, so the only way forward is this past this guy. Uh, let's use Dolan here. I don't know. Should probably have like a grass type and just make me cry, but who knows. I have a lot of shiny like bugs and Pokemon Go that I don't want. Uh, funny enough, so do I. <laughs> I have a lot of shiny Electabuzzes and a lot of shiny um, Magmortars. Or Mag Magmars, rather. So, I appreciate the offer, but I actually don't need any either. Send headbutt. See your older sister and her family for Christmas. Excited? Aww! I hope that's a good time. I hope it's a good Christmas. And 
Come on. Hit it with the ice beam. Boop. Alright, what you got next? Blissey! Oh no, we're gonna be here forever watching the HP go down. <laughs> if it was the originals, yeah, but not anymore. seen the shiny Pokeball Pokemon? It's so cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have seen that. Like, I, I don't own one, but, like, I've seen what it looks like. Going to a Christmas party tonight? Heck yeah! I hope you have some fun! Oh, speaking of Pokeballs, did anything happen with the whole, like, weird Twitter campaign thing they were doing last night? Pokemon... It's like, you're like, Ball Guy like dropped all of his Pokeballs and you have to help him pick it up. And then people are saying it might be a teaser for like Hisui and Voltorb. <laughs> Did anything come from that? No. Just. If you go to their website, there's a bunch of Pokeballs that fall down, and then if you touch one, one of them blows up and clears the screen. Yeah, they're definitely teasing Hisui and Voltorb. Which would be kind of neat, because that would be based on, like, the ancient-looking Pokeballs, so, like, I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Anyway. Um, how are things? Oh, uh, things are pretty good. Golden Star Alex. Hope things are going well for you. I'm just going to see if they like actually confirmed that like, oh hey, Hisui and Voltorb and Electrode are a thing. But not yet. Actually, wait, hang on, I want to go back down here. Is this just a dead end? Hidden item? Yep, hidden item. Okay. Oh, it's so nice to not have to carry a bee barrel into the Elite Four. Or into Victory Road, rather. You know what I mean. Um, if I do that... Yeah, I think I can get by. I know, to see Voltorb at the Game Awards of all places. It could happen. Could happen. Although I don't know if I'm actually gonna watch the Game Awards tonight. I just, eh. I always find them so boring. <laughs> like, I usually watch it with Trevor because he's really into that stuff and I would just like, just feel like I'm gonna fall asleep half the time. Sometimes it's really cool. And sometimes there's some really neat announcements like, uh, Joker for Smash Bros. Of course you're gonna send out a Rapidash the one time I'm like, hey, let me use my bug type. <laughs> uh, that sucks. Hey, all Kavir. Th uh, welcome to the stream. First Let's Play of Solo View was the Avatar Burning Earth Let's Play. Yeah, that was a uh, first Let's Play for a lot of people, but that was a while ago, so thank you so much for uh, just all the support throughout all those years, thank you. Twenty thirteen, you got me into Minecraft too. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I'm not a huge fan of like either of those projects myself, because like I just don't think they've aged too well, but I'm glad that like they got people into like new stuff like Minecraft. I've been debating on like maybe remaking the Minecraft stuff with the uh, the new update coming out, but who knows, we'll see. I don't think I'd attempt to do, like, a quote-unquote story if I did redid it. Because I don't really think the story I was trying to go for turned out any any uh, any good, but... Oh well. You live and you learn. Garibaldi wants to learn Thunder. No thanks. Uh, what does he exerting his pressure do? So basically, when you see that um, a Pokémon has the ability Pressure, and that means that... 
Um, you see how this surf has 15 uses, and every time I use it, it goes down by one? If you're fighting a Pokémon with pressure, that means it would go down by two. Uh, is it true that it has Spina Bifida? Yes, it is indeed true. That is indeed facts. Ah, no need to apologize. Yeah, it extracts one extra power point. Is basically the easy way to say that. Alright, uh, let's see here. Can I fit through the little gap, please? Okay, they're gonna make me do one of these. There we go. And hey, maybe let's get off the bike. The bike's a little hard to manage sometimes. <laughs> um, so am I in a wheelchair? Um, I am indeed in a wheelchair. Um, I didn't used to be, but some other health issues that are, like, complications of Spina Bifida kind of knocked me on my butt about, like, ten-ish years ago, so I just kind of use the wheelchair full-time now. Don't be afraid to ask, uh, questions. If it's too personal, I will just not ask it, but I'd rather people, like, ask and learn. Um, did I just mess up here? I think I just messed up here. Yep, that's so why I put it in my bio so that people can learn, they can ask, and that they can see that, you know, people that have disabilities are just the same as you and me. Because there are definitely some stigmas, so I'm, I'm here to fight them. Oh, I appreciate the hug. But it's no big deal. Like, I've, I've had it my entire life, so it's like... It is normal to me, so... I can't imagine a version of myself that doesn't have Spina Bifida, so... It's just... It's just who I am. Huh, what am I doing here? Um, can I... Okay, that was some weird movement. Do I have to approach this from another angle? Because I genuinely... How do you get from... Uh, I mean, I still have the crutches and braces, and... I don't know. Like, I've done physical therapy to try to get built back up after everything, but it's like every time I get super built back up, there's another hospitalization that knocks me back down. <laughs> so I've just kind of given up for the moment, especially until after the next surgery. Which I know is going to have to be next year. Maybe after that one, I'll uh, do a couple months of PT if the insurance allows. And then try to get built back up. For right now, I'm just sticking with the wheelchair. How? I have to... There has to be... I have to be missing something, right? Because, like, the only way to move this... Yeah, you do that, and then you can't move this, and- Wait, 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 no, you can do this. I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm so dumb. There we go. There we go. I think this might be the trainer that has the, um, the Torterra. I think this was the person I lost a bunch of Pokémon to in the Nuzlocke.
Or maybe not. I think it was someone on this, like, stretch of road. I'll just hit it with air slash. Yeah, get hit with the flinch. Air slash again! Flinch? No, moon blast! Oof. We'd have kind of tanked that like a champ. Yeah, it might not be this trainer. But I know it's someone on this stretch of road. I don't know if it's a veteran trainer up there or- Nope, there's the Torterra! It's you! You killed two of my team members! In my 2011 Pokémon Platinum Nuzlocke! You monster! I will avenge them here and now! Get one hit! Do you have a disability in a situation where you're, the employers think I'm disabled, but social security thinks otherwise? I... Yeah, I hate the way the government treats disabilities. Like, if it's not something that's, like, outwardly apparent or something that's not, like... You know, basically, if you're not, like, in a wheelchair or on, like, an oxygen device or something, they're like, oh, nope, you don't have a disability, and I'm like, that's not how that works. <laughs> So I'm sorry that you have to deal with that. I understand and sympathize dealing with social security and disability and all that crap. And government assistance and da da. It just makes me want to go crazy. Alright, well on the bright side we saw Torterra, so... By the time we finish the game, we'll have seen all the Pokémon we need to see. Also, you've got to be kidding me if you think I'm going to be sticking to this matchup. Actually, you know what? I have Power Gem. Do I do it? I'm going to do it. Endeavor. <laughs> you've made a false move, Star Raptor. I think that's the only time a Star Raptor has ever been bested by a Vespic one. And it'll probably never happen again. To be fair, I do have like a 10 level advantage. <laughs> Thank you, EXP share. Hold on. Sandstream. Eh. You painted the butt. Go on, get in here. Wash away all the sand. You know, it's kind of funny when I started today's stream. I'm like, there's no way we're going to be able to capture the legendaries and get the Cynthia and all that. And like one stream. Like, I'm gonna have to split it into two parts. And here we are in the, uh, probably about, I don't know, halfway through Victory Road? Before the first hour of streams even up? <laughs> so. What do I know? I forgot, Dusk Ball is OP. Yeah, as Elf and Yuxi decided to play very nice. I will say I'm a little nervous about the Elite Four. Sharing was not in Calm Mind. Um, I think you have Nasty Bot, so I'm gonna say no. I like how they actually look like they have hair in this version. Like, <laughs> I think in the originals it's just like the generic old man sprite with no hair. And then you get to fight them and they have this like luxurious gray hair and it's like, what? <laughs> what is happening? Make you want to play Pokemon Moon? Do it! Pokemon Moon is good. I love 7th Gen. I think 7th Gen is probably the best modern generation. It's very, very good. And I want to go back in and reset the, uh, the Strength Rocks. So I'm glad that they have their own custom sprite now, because that looked really weird. <laughs> First things first, we gotta get rid of this. And then do that. Let's 
stomach's crumbling. I wish you would stop. Her Flint and Sinthia are nightmares. Yeah, that's what I keep hearing. The whole Elite Four is just a one big nightmare. So, we're gonna see how that goes, and it's gonna be fun, I hope. I'm actually looking forward to the challenge. Like, I've wanted, like, an Elite Four that uses, like, competitive strats for a very long time. And apparently that's what they do. Alright, um, let's see. I feel like Gen 7 is going to get the Gen 5 treatment in a couple of years. What I mean by that is, like, they were hated upon release, and then, like, five, six, seven years later, it's going to be touted as one of the best generations. I genuinely feel like that's going to happen to Gen 7. I feel like it's kind of happening to Gen 6 right now. Kind of. It's a little hard to tell. It's either just starting, or... I don't know. <laughs> Intimidate on my two physical people. Let's go. Alright, yeah, Felix, see you in a bit. Oh, uh, I still have Rock Slide. I forgot I got rid of uh, Stealth Rocks. I might actually put Stealth Rocks back on. From what I've heard, uh... <laughs> There are some, uh, focus bands and whatnot coming up. Come by, Whiskash. So I think we're gonna be right around 58, 59 by the time we enter the Elite Four, it looks like. Which is probably where I would have went in anyway, so we shall see. Sheridan, you can just hit with flamethrower. Back to work for you, see you later. Alright, Nick, good luck! We shall see you later if we're still alive. So I was about to say, like, what am I doing here? Hop, hop, stop. I'm actually shocked that I did that so smoothly. <laughs> that is a- that normally gives me a lot of trouble. <laughs> So the only way forward is down. Yeah, I have to agree about Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. I prefer playing them just for the expanded Pokedex. I like, you know, just bigger roster to choose from. But as far as what they did with the story and stuff like that, eh. Hey, Bennett is cool. What's up? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, I'm gonna assume we're about to fight a fighting type, so I'm gonna do this. Currently leveling your shiny Charizard to level 100. Nice! It's like, I enjoy playing the Ultra games more, but I don't like the story of the Ultra games. Like, I like the ultra wormholes, I like all that stuff, but like, as far as like the characters and the story, I'm like, wow, they really watered this down. <laughs> Although I do really like the post-game with the, um, the rainbow rocket stuff. I think that stuff is neat. So, I don't know, ultra games are a bit of a mixed bag for me. Probably my least favorite of the quote unquote third versions, but like, uh, it's, they're still pretty solid. Actually, eh, Crystal might be my least favorite of the third versions, but I'm just not a huge fan of Gen 2. 
I'll hate Gen 2. I just prefer to play Heart Gold Soul Silver. Yeah, that's another one of those, it's like, if you haven't played the originals, you'll like this. That's kind of how I feel about this game. It's like, if you haven't played Diamond, Pro or Platinum, like, you should play this. Like, it's really good. But if you've played Platinum, eh, maybe skip. But if all you've played at the time you're in Pearl and not Platinum, then I'd say give these a chance. So I'm using a psychic type against psychic types. Let's go. Um, I've heard of a ROM hack called Crystal Clear. I think I've heard of it, but I've never tried it. Not really super into ROM hacks that much. I used to be much uh, more into them than I am now. I feel like this is a little better than Sword and Shield. Yeah! I don't know, it's hard to say. Like, they're both... I don't know, it's, it's different. Sword and Shield was definitely, like, I prefer the exploration in this game. I mean, I've always preferred, like, the older generations to the newer ones, but... Not to sound like a boomer, but... So, I mean, it's got that going for it, but I, I don't know. It's it's hard to it's hard to say. Let's hit him with the ground type levitate combo. And before they have two flying types and everything is bad. Please don't have two flying types and everything is bad. Well, they have one flying type and everything's kind of bad. There goes my strategy. I mean, I might play slash stream a wrong hack. A, a wrong hack. A wrong. A rom hack. Brain and mouth. Can you two like actually function? Fix this broken connection you have going on here. Strategy part that that was that was just we're gonna call that a mollyism. That's what mom calls them. Where I take an ordinary word and make it sound funny. But uh, <laughs> trying to say rom hack and just coming out wrong rom hack, whatever the heck I was saying earlier. That that was just brain being dumb. To be fair, my dad would always do the same thing. So I guess I picked it up from him. He would always take like a mun mundane word and just make it sound goofy, mispronounce it the wrong way, and just make it sound funny. So I guess that's where I picked it up from. Yeah, we're gonna call that a Mollyism. <laughs> or a Lightningism, whatever we wanna go with here. Both, both works. But can the last dose? I wanted to try, um, I wanted to try Radical Red for some time, but I just haven't got around to it. Same with Renegade Platinum. Ah, it's a rare candy, okay. It was not Dark Pulse TM. I was thinking it was Dark Pulse. I 
It's so weird to me. <laughs> Just straight to the point. Would you like to use another one? It's like, uh, sure. It's a good thing I know what you're talking about, otherwise I'd be like, what? Um, let's use Delenn here. I don't know if this guy has anything that's weak to water, but, you know, water's strong. Odds are I can handle whatever he has. But if we're, it's a pure dragon type, and then I'm sad. Honchcrow, okay, yeah, we can handle that. Mafia bird! Hit him with that ice beam! Sorry, I had to stretch for a moment. Mob brass burb. I gave him an offer he couldn't refuse. And the offer was an ice beam to the face. I will say, I really like surfing in this game. Like the little ripple in the water. Oh, okay, I guess not this water, but some of the water. There's like this nice little ripple effect. The music, the remix for uh, the surf theme just sounds so peaceful and relaxing. It's just nice, and now we have Dragon Pulse, and everything's cool. Although we have Dragon Claw already, so like, I don't know if we're gonna be using Dragon Pulse, but at least the option's here. Um, if I recall correctly, this guy uses dragons, so we're gonna do that. Kind of miss having real HMs. I certainly do not. <laughs> I am glad they're gone and relegated to just an app. It is so nice being able to have access to my full team of six whenever I need them. And not having to be weighed down by an HM user. It's like, look at my strong, fierce team! That's all level 55, except for my guy in the PC that's stuck at level 50 and has to be trained up later and in his place is level... 24 B barrel. <laughs> I think this guy has an Altaria in Platinum. I remember him having more than just one dragon type, but I guess. I guess that's Platinum. Take a shot for every time I've said Platinum in this place. <laughs> Don't do that, you'll die. Don't do that, you'll die. Do not do that, you will die. <laughs> and I can. I will not be held responsible for that. Big mushroom. Um, this guy has something strong, and I don't remember what it is. Is this a Machamp, I think? I think he has a Machamp. We're about to find out. What you got, Mr. Veteran? Down cruel. Okay, that's not a macho. Just, I don't know. I always thought the HMs were just kind of like a dumb concept to begin with. Like, HM should have been like something that the trainer could use. Like, Flash could have been a flashlight, Surf could have been a surfboard. You know, things like that. Like, I don't know why it had to be tied to Pokemon. Or if they had to tie it to Pokemon, they should have been moves that you can, like, get rid of. <laughs> but, oh well. Yeah, that's not a Machamp. <laughs> Unless this is the rare... Hisuian Machamp. <laughs> or Sinosian... Sino I don't know. I think it's kind of interesting how Sinnoh used to have a different name in the ancient past. It's kind of like how a lot of countries had different names uh, the further back in the history you go. Like, that's just kind of a neat little touch. Yeah, kind of like how it was handled in the Let's Go games. Where it was just relegated to your partner Pokemon. 
sturdy, because of course you do. Heavy slam. Um, do you take recoil from that? Because if you do, you're dead. No, you don't. Okay. I can't believe we're almost at a victory road, and I've only been streaming for like an hour-ish. I was worried, like, oh man, we're gonna have to like cram all this content into like two different streams, and no, no, we're gonna get it done in one, and then some, apparently. <laughs> I hope they make a Let's Go Johto, and then they just kind of are done with it, personally. <laughs> just because Let's Go Pikachu Eevee seemed to like really heavily imply that they were going to do a Johto remake. And very much seemed to lean into like Johto stuff. Like they had Archer, I think they made a comment about Koga debating on going to work at the Elite Four and having his daughter take over, stuff like that. Would I like to use another one? Of course I would! Well, Pokeball, how do I get... How do I get it? I just do this. Hey, the Razor Claw! Let's go! Now I can evolve my Sneasel. I'm gonna have to wait like three more hours, but I can evolve my Sneasel! Grab this, and a bottle of zinc. So I will use another one. If I go up here... Does this bring me to where I think it's gonna bring me? It does. This is the Dark Pulse TM, it has to be. Yeah, Sabrina also hinted like you'll be back in like three years or something. Which we know is like three years of in-game time, not IRL. It could have been at the time, but now we're definitely past the three-year mark. <laughs> Which is a little weird, because it's like she's clearly talking to the player, but like... Also, not talking to the player? I don't know. Alright, I think you have more dragons. More dargons. Gibble. Gibble, gibble. Gibble, gibble. gonna hit you with a bug buzz. Yeah, exactly. If anyone can break the fourth wall, it's Sabrina. <laughs> that is true. Alright, so yeah. That's pretty much how I predicted. We're gonna be around 58-59 for the Elite Four. Hopefully that's strong enough. <laughs> It should be strong enough, I hope. Right? Hit him with that wild charge! Oh, wait, that part of the song comes later. I forgot we have at least like five more before we get to the. Another Ghibli! Another small dr little, little dragon. Get the heck out of here. Now if we can do that to Cynthia's guard shop, then... <laughs> now the owner of a six month old orange tabby named Pumpkin. Aww! Aww! 
is precious. Oh, it reminds me of my baby Timmy. Oh, I hope you and Pumpkin have many, many long years together and just have a lot of fun. Studio Ghibli, my favorite. <laughs> All right, here we are. We done made it. The pinnacle, wait, a pinnacle of what? The pinnacle of trainerdom. All right, so we can actually look at the Pokemon League without, you know, blurry vision. <laughs> Seriously, what was up with those binoculars last time? <laughs> Freeze the world! <laughs> Here we are. It's wonderful music. I'm just staring out into the void. Oh, the endless void, the endless sea. I just kind of want to chill here for a second. I love it. I love it. Alright, here we are. Uh, here's the shop. Pretty much everything in the game. We're not gonna go talk to that guy, because we know what's gonna happen in like two seconds. I think it would be wise for us to lead with Dolan. And then let's go talk to this man. But wait! It's Barry. He's here. Hey, History Master, how you doing? Also, I'm sorry to hear that first direction. I hope your Siamese is okay. Poor kitty. I <laughs> can't see squat. Yeah, I don't know what was with the binoculars last time. That was so weird. Alright, the final rival battle for now. I don't know if they kept the post-game platinum one. And come to think of it, I don't know if the post-game platinum one was from... Like, you know... The original Diamond and Pearl. <clears throat> Excuse me. Rain Dance? You can learn that? Since when? Huh? Bruh. Today I learned that Star Raptor gets freaking rain dance. Okay. <sighs> Weird. This looks like we're gonna be like 5960 going in there. Rizzard. Raid. Uh, this is a ro this is a major battle. I like using different Pokemon for each one, so I'm gonna use Franklin. Stun Spore, that's annoying. Don't heck and do that. <laughs> I gotta stop singing along with this. I'm not good at it. But it's just such a good jam. It fits Barry so well. It's so energetic, so fast. And I'm like one of the few people that actually likes Barry. Although, to be fair, I think Barry appreciation has gone up over the years. I know when the games first came out, people were like, man, Barry sucks. <laughs> I'm like, you take that back. He's like a really good balance between friendly and also just 
you know, a rival. He's not too douchey, but he's not super... Like, he's, he's nice, but he's not... I don't know. He's a nice, like, in the middle. But he's also not gonna hold back on you, like, at all. Yeah, there's been... Lord knows there's been worth worse rival characters. <clears throat> Gen 6. <clears throat> what? No, oh, to be fair, Serena slash Callum is fine-ish. It's the other ones, and I'm like, oof. I'm trying to give Barry a full six-on-six -six battle here. I mean, I guess it's better than Cyrus's Quick Claw being on his Crobat. Which, unfortunately, we didn't get to see. But I saw it on my friend Zeon's stream and it was hilarious. The Crobat was frozen by an Ice Fang or something and then tried to use Quick Claw and it was still frozen and it was just funny. <laughs> to which we were all like, why does Cyrus's Crobat have a Quick Claw? It already outspeeds pretty much everything in the game. <laughs> what is happening, Rapidash? Alright. I think we're actually gonna pull it off. We're gonna have... Yeah, <laughs> that's the clip. Right there. Ow, Megahorn hurt. Meet you. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have a perfect six-on-six -six battle. Where I took out every one of his Pokemon with a different Pokemon on my team. Neat. Because then I'm gonna switch into Lita to finish things off. Because I'm pretty sure he's got Heracross, and he is a lucky son of a gun to get both a Munchlax and a Heracross in these games. Like, that is kind of nuts. That's kinda scary. Wait, please don't sweep my whole team with swords. Dance. That would suck, like, really badly. I can't do this song anymore. Ha, huh? you missed a rock slide, ha. Huh? Oh, it was affection. Okay, well. That would have been really tragic. Luckily, Lita loves me. Ah, it feels bad, Barry. Keep trying. According to that Pokemon Evolutions episode, at least you can battle your dad and it'll be cool. Alright. So, lead four. We're going in at like level 5960. Which is a little higher than I was predicting, but that's probably where I want to be. <sighs> Alright. So I think. I need to look at my choices here. <sighs> Shadow Ball. Meh. I don't think we need it. We have Lita to deal with most of Lucian's Pokemon. And we have Crunch on Ivanova. So I think we're good on the ghost coverage. Rain Dance, I don't really feel a need. I don't need to set up a... I don't have a Rain Team to set up. Shadow Claw could be good coverage, but I don't think we'll need it for now. Same reason I'm not teaching Shadow Ball. 
Focus punch is pointless. Shockwave, we don't. We have better electric moves. Sludge bomb on Lita. Hmm. You know. Nah. Stealth Rock, I think I'm actually gonna reteach. And I might just give it to. <sighs> I might give it to Sheridan. I might give it. Well, mm... no, give it to Ivanova. She can outspeed everything. Plus, we have a rock, like a fit, like an actual rock move on Lita, so it's like losing rock slides not the worst thing in the world. Plus, I think we have more of them. Like, I need something to pierce through those uh, focus bands and whatnot. Focus sashes. Stealing, don't need sunny days, pointless, surf, uh, sword stance. This is the one I've been wondering about. Do I want sword stance on one of my physical attackers? If yes, it would go on Ivanova, probably. But the problem is, what do I replace? Crunch I like is having a backup. Earthquake is needed, and Dragon Claw is too essential. So I think we just leave as is. Sheridan... Sharon's got nasty plot for his special moves, and then close combat hits so hard it almost doesn't even need sword stance, so I think we're good on that. Lita can learn Toxic, but she has Destiny Bond, and that might be an ace in the hole. So I think I'm just gonna leave that. Trick Room, there's no point. All my boys are pretty fast, so it would just be a hindrance. X Scissor, Lita's specially offensive, so no. Thunder, no. Because Garibaldi's physically offensive, so no. Stone Edge, if I wasn't trying to use the Stealth Rock stuff, I probably would. In fact, that was my original idea. Wait, actually, yeah, that's a good point. Not everyone can learn Toxic now? What the heck? When did that happen? <laughs> Anyway, um, Dragon Paul Savannah was so physically offensive, it's kind of nutty. I think she has a minus special attack nature, if I recall correctly, so... Yeah, we're probably not gonna do that. Dark Pulse, no one can learn it. Aerial Ace, I don't see the point. It's a good move, but I just don't see the point in using it now. Hey, Dr. Keat, what's up? Avalanche is a bad move, in my opinion. It's negative priority. Or rather, it's, uh, it, it's usefulness is negative priority, so it's like you want to go second. Blizzard, I don't like more than Ice Beam. Bug Buzz is already known. Brine, I don't see a point over Surf. Bullet Seed, no one can learn. Calm Mind. Eh. Dawn's got Tail Glow. Sheridan's got Nasty Plot. Franklin has Reflect and things like that, so I don't see the need for Calm Mind, Dazzling Gleam, we already have, Dig, don't need it when I have Earthquake, Drain Punch, seems pointless when I've got Close Combat, Flamethrower is already known, Flash Cannon is already known, Fly, don't have anyone, Giga Drain, no one can learn, Grass Knot, Sheridan's already got it covered, Iron Tail, we already have a Steel type, we have Flash Cannon, Nasty Plot, Sheridan's already got Payback, don't see a point. Pluck, don't see a point. Poison Jab, you could make an argument for. But how many fairy types is Cecilia 4 going to have? Not any, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think the Elite Four has any, um... Has any fairy types. It's not like they're running like Clefables or anything. If this was Platinum, I'd have to worry about Cynthia's Togekiss, but like... I've got answers to that too. 
but I'm pretty sure it's Gastrodon. Which, as risky as it is, I could send in Sheridan and hit it with a Grass Knot, and that's that. I don't really have a lot of grass coverage on this team, unfortunately. Psychic, it's already known. Rock Climb, Rock Slide, doesn't really matter. Fell when it is a rock move, I'd use Stone Edge. Tree Meter, no. Roost. Roost. You know, there could be merit for this. Although, if I'm keeping Destiny Bond, I kind of don't want Roost, I guess? I don't know. I'm gonna say no on the Roost for now. Only four, but they're only Cliff Ables. Then I'd definitely put on Poison Jab. Waterfall, no. That's physical. Dolan is special. Dragon Claw, already known. Scald. Mm, Scald is good. Scald better than Surf. No, not really. I think I'd rather save Scald. We only have one of them, and I don't know if you can get more. And then we're back to Shadow Ball, so I think we're good on that. Um, held items. I should probably give the Soft Sand to Ivanova. And then everybody else I think is good. I have a dragon scale or whatever the dragon boosting move is. Item is dragon fang. Yeah, I do. <sighs> I feel like Ivana was probably gonna use probably gonna use earthquake more than she's gonna use dragon claw. I think we go with what we got. Just run through real quick. No one really has fling. Leftovers? Hold up. Leftovers might be good on Franklin. Yeah, over the psychic plate? Yeah, let's do that. Although, hmm. White clay on Franklin. Franklin's got reflect. I've had dual screens, but I swap my I basically split my screens up between Garibaldi and Franklin. Uh, I think we go with the leftovers. Yeah, five leftovers. I have fought many, many Munchlax. Use this on close combat. Rare candy. And we'll save the rare candy for the Cynthia fight if we need it. Alright. I think that's what we're gonna go into this team with. Um, one last thing I wanna do. <laughs> one last thing. I just thought about this uh, as I was looking through our Pokemon. I wanna go back to Jubilee for real quick. I'm gonna go back to Jubilee, do this, go back to the Pokemon League, take like a five minute break to stretch, use the bathroom, and all that fun stuff. And then we're gonna do this Elite Four thing. I think it's uh, in here? Yeah. How many Munchlax died in my hand? Too many. <laughs> Too many. Okay, um, so I need something cool looking for Ivanova, and I need a cool looking thing for Franklin as well. Also, apparently if you give a, a Pokemon that's going into a contest a ball capsule, it has a better chance of like getting better scores, so that's why my Lodic has one.
Oh, it already copied it. Derp. No. Let's fix up the ball capsules real quick. It goes to Ivanova. I want them all looking sp Freaking awesome when they go into battle. Crash awake, what you got? Uh, go back to Valkner. Unfortunately, the Elite Four doesn't seem to be here. Which, I mean, why would they be? You haven't fought them yet. Lucian has a set that he uses on his, um... On his Pokémon, then, like, maybe? Maybe I would use it for Bronzong, but for now, I guess I'll just go with what Fantina's got. Copy the ones that we have. All right. Let's save the game, head back to the Pokemon League, and then I'm gonna take a quick break for about five-ish minutes. Give or take, and then we're gonna do the Elite Four. Oh, yeah, I guess we're inside a building, huh? <laughs> Star after just crashes through the ceiling. I heard you need me. Oh, uh, that'd be funny. Alright, we're doing this. Get me back to that Pokemans League. Um, do I have enough heal items? Healing items and stuff? I probably do. I don't plan on spamming, like, healing, but, like, you know, it's good to go in slightly repa uh, prepared. 31. Got full heals. Nine armor vibes. That's fine. Four stores we could use a little more of. Not too many more, but, like,. How about a total of 15? Let's bring revives up to a total of 10. Next potions are fine. Hyper potions are fine. Okay. I think we're ready. Yeah, let me set up a team for Aaron real quick. Since we're going with the stealth... Since we're going with the stealth rock strategy, I'm going to lead Ivanova. And probably swap out to Sheridan to finish them off. Alright, gamers. We're gonna save, and I am going to AFK for just a few minutes. Stretch. Get a drink. Feed my cat. All that wonderful stuff. I encourage you to do the same. Move them muscles. Get that blood flowing. And we will be back in a few.
Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are here, we are ready. For the moment, this has all been building up towards. It's time for the Elite Four, baby. Let's see if it's as scary as everyone's been making it out to be. <laughs> One last save for the road. Alright, examine my gin badges, which I polished in between streams, by the way, although they probably don't look polished anymore. I'm kinda curious, do they still look polished? polished but certainly not as dirty as they looked like during the last stream <laughs> so okay here we go I haven't done the diamond and pearl elite four in a very long time so I don't remember everything that they have I'm way more familiar with the platinum version Garchomp's out front Let's do it. Alright, Aaron. What you got for me? You got bugs. But what kind of bugs? I'm assuming you don't have Scizor. You probably still have Heracross. You probably still have Drapion, too? Dust Hawks. Okay. Oh, this sounds different! I mean, yeah, it's the gym leader theme, but like, it's got different instruments. Oh, they finally, sort of, got their own theme after all these years. Aww. Alright, set up the stealth rocks. Light screen, that's not poggers. <laughs> Let me think. I mean, I get a nasty plot. Just kind of get through the light screen. <laughs> oh, this thing might have psychic. Yeah, more guitar, less synthes. Yeah, it's a perfect way to describe it. Toxic. <laughs> Hit him with that nasty plot. Dude, I love this. This sounds so good. Bug buzz. That shouldn't do much of anything. It expelled the plot. Dude, affection is so broken. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll set up another nasty pot, because it's gonna go for another toxic, I'm sure. Or not, okay. Alright, reflect go down? Light screen go down? No, not yet? Okay, whatever. Let's just blitz through with flamethrower. Goodbye, bug. I love this. This is so good. <laughs> okay, there's this light screen. That's kind of what I was buying my time for. <laughs> to try to get rid of the light screen. Alright. Stealth Rocks being OP. Flamethrower. Earthquake. Moved. Okay, affection being broken yet again. Nice.
<laughs> Take the brooms out, we're gonna get a sleep. Oh my god, stealth rocks into a bug flying type. Poor Beautifly. What does he- I forget, what does he have in Platinum besides the- I guess Scizor besides Beautifly? Does he still have t Dust Tox? No. Oh crap, what does he have? Yen Mega, he's a Yen Mega. That's what it is. Oh, Fistwick one's gonna get absolutely slaughtered here. <laughs> Stealth Rocks is so stupid. It popped his citrus berry. Bruh. I won't lie, Aaron was pretty much the major reason I was thinking of Stealth Rocks. Just to see if I could meme on the bugs. But I have heard that there are like focus sashes and stuff in here, so. Hey Mario Sonic, what's up? How you doing, Drapion? Yo, what was that effect? That looks so cool. Like fireworks came down. Um, flamethrower probably does more. Okay, we live in. Ba-boom! Ladies and gentlemen, you've just witnessed the marvelous sweep. I doubt the rest of them are gonna be that easy. I don't know if I need stealth rocks on the next fight. Although I will say, now that I'm here, I just noticed this. Ah, uh, they don't have their cool Elite Four rooms. Yeah, they're like generic, lame-looking ones. Like, there's like a big old, like, hollowed-out tree over here. And like, like, a bunch of leaves for the bugs to play in over here in Platinum. Aw, oh, man! See, it's the little things like that that I really, really wish they would've just transferred over. The little aesthetic things. They look like a lot more like a foresty, swampy marsh area in here than just generic, stale computers. Although, do I see there are some butterflies or something coming out of this? I don't know. Ah, that's lame. Alright, um... I mean, we're gonna heal up real quick and then kind of just go from there. I doubt, like I said, we're gonna need Stealth Rocks for the next fight, although actually, you know what? No, we're gonna use Stealth Rocks to try to get through Sturdy. Because it's still an entry hazard. It is still an entry hazard. So, we're gonna continue doing what we're doing. Of course, in the corner theme, but not the whole room. Well, I mean, at least it's something, I guess. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah, there's like sand coming out of this one. But... Aw, oh, man! Like, this place looked like a broken, like, canyon desert thing, if I remember correctly. And now it's just... stale... You know... Sterile walls. Oh well. Like, that is one thing I'll give Oros. At least they, like, you know didn't one for one on like aesthetics and stuff like Roxanne's gym looked amazing like it having like a fossil slash like archaeology theme like that's so cool Quagsire of course you're gonna leave Quagsire alright stealth rock And then it's gonna be risky, but we're gonna have to send Sheridan in here. Earthquake. Ugh. You'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. Because I don't have anybody else that can deal with a water ground type. Other than the Sheridan with Grass Knot. What a combo. I don't think I'm gonna Nasty Pot here. That's dangerous. We're probably just gonna try to get rid of the Quagsire as fast as we can. Toxic again? Oh my 
my god, affection. Affection's maybe making this a little too easy. <laughs> Well, that in the five like level gap, but you know. Liz cash. Okay, that's actually fine. We can just grass knot again. <clears throat> I mean to be fair Ooh, okay. You've got one of those uh weakness cutting berries. Which one is that one? Rindo, okay. Okay. Ooh. Ah, affection. I was gonna say, like, did you actually live with one HP or did you live so I wouldn't feel sad? <laughs> All right, uh, we're just gonna grass knot again. Yeah, affection might. Okay, this might be why Nuzlocke's banned this stuff. <laughs> Um, I know that there are, like, so there's this main round, you know, like, the story of the Elite Four, and then there's, like, a rematch. And then there's a re-rematch, if I heard correctly, so that's kind of neat. Um, I'm gonna switch Sheridan out just so we can avoid... I mean, I could let him go here, get a free switch into Delenn, but also we could just save on a revive. <laughs> Like that might be enough for me to set up a tail glow. I'm gonna set up a tail glow. I've tried my best to like not use tail a tail glow up to this point, so rock polish. Ooh. I think we're still faster. Maybe. Earthquake. Nope. No, we're not. We're fine. This is fine. The lens fine. Everything's fine. <clears throat> I shouldn't do that voice. It hurts my throat. Yeah. That, that's what I thought. Three rounds. Cynthia's eyes being mid-80s. Yeah, I know the second one, like the first post-game one, is like based on their platinum teams. And then the final one is basically like... Original to this game. <clears throat> okay, not bad. Tailgo Surf should basically be it. As long as nothing can outspeed me. <laughs> I wonder where I got that knowledge from. Xeon. Oh my god, what was that voice crack? <laughs> What is happening to my vocal cords? <clears throat> I mean, I know this... Wait, no. Does it raise your special defense, Sandstorm? Or is that just rock types? I think it's just rock types. Either way, you're done. You're done, kid. Get out of here. Alright. Down goes Bertha. Is it confirmed that these uh, that she's the sister of Agatha? Or is that still just a fan theory? Alright, Flint's next, which I've heard can be a bit of a doozy. I think we're just gonna keep going with the strategy we have using stealth rocks. But we'll see. Also, stomach, stop grumbling. It's not dinner time yet. What are you doing? Let's see what Flint's got. Oh, that's cool. Little torches coming out of the uh, little computer things. 
I'm assuming it's like, I don't know, like holographic fire. <laughs> Either that or somebody just like took a bunch of broken computers and was like, well, their cooling systems don't work anymore, so let's just use them as decoration. <laughs> and they just light on fire. Alright, so this guy does not have that many fire types, but he does have a lot of fire moves. Pretty sure we're back to like low punny and like drift bloom and steelix. I, mean, I could probably just earthquake sweep. But I'll put out stealth rocks, just hypnosis. Huh. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Maybe we won't be using Stealth Rocks this time. <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised you outsped a Garchomp. Oh my god, affection's so silly. Poison jab. Okay, that's not too bad. Hypnosis. No, dude! Smogon's got rules for this kind of stuff, come on! Sleep, sleep claws, my guy! I mean, I think we can just tank it until she wakes up. I think. There we go. And do you have a berry? Do you have a sash? No, okay. Steelix, I'm not too afraid of this. Unless it has Thunderfang, but even then. Although it's gonna have sturdy, so this won't matter. Or it'll have rockhead, and I just absolutely wrecked this man. Dive. No. Okay, I don't want this to be like an absolute massacre with tail go surf, so I'm gonna actually switch out here. Try to challenge myself a little bit. Hidden abilities are a thing. Oh, what's the hidden ability for Steelix, son? Mirror code. Ooh. You are gonna do something I don't like. You're gonna do something I really don't like. I know what you're gonna do. I know exactly what you're gonna do. Vonova, I need you to wake up now. Actually, no, it's too late, because I can't... Ah, this is... Not good. I need you to miss? Yeah, I can't... Well, I mean, I can get Stealth Rocks on the field. I can wait for her to miss a high jump kick. I'll bet you this thing has Sash, and then it's gonna hit me with a counter. I'll bet you any money it's gonna do that. I don't have anything that's immune to fighting, do I? No, but I do have Reflect. Ooh, okay, we can get a little funky here. I think you can live a Fire Punch, if it came down to it. Yeah, I should've taught someone Protect, probably. What's up, Jay-Z? What's up? Welcome. How you doing? Alright, let's get a Reflect up. Yeah, okay, here's the Fire Punch. You live that, yeah. Reflect. Dude, I just realized there's fire in the ceiling, too. That's really cool. 
Let's hit it with that confuser. Yeah, nice try. I just, I need it to take a little bit of damage. Because I have a feeling I know what he's going for here. I'm gonna chance the... F Ugh, I'm gonna chance the flash cannon. And hope she doesn't use mirror coat. Fire punch, okay. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Okay! You don't have a focus sash. I just did all that for nothing. I thought he was gonna focus sash into a uh, counter. That's why I didn't just close combat and end it. That's why I've been like doing this like weird switch game. Okay. I figured it was like high jump kick, mirror coat, counter, and then fire punch. Hit yourself? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I have been playing too much Showdown. Which is weird because I haven't touched Showdown in like a good year and a half. <laughs> Snap out of confusion. High jump kick. You love this. Yeah. New Legends Arceus reveal just dropped? Really? Is it? Hang on. I bet it's what I think it is. Is it Hisui in, uh, whatchamacallit? Voltorb. Pokemon. Wanna see this? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Is it a grass type? It is! Because the Pokeballs are made out of wood, that's cool! Electric and grass. Still, like, basically just looks like a Voltorb, though. <laughs> just... wooden. Huh. Neat. Just kinda hoping for something a little different than that, but like, I... <laughs> what all can- what can you do with Waltorb's design, really? <laughs> Alright, anyway. First electric grass, excluding Rotom form. Yeah, I don't really count the forms, because, like, those are, like, like, temporary, I guess. Voltorb, but a cube. Alright, Driftblim. <sighs> what are you gonna do? What do I have for you is the better question. I'm sure it's gonna have aftermath. Uh, Mr. Garibaldi, help me out here. Baton pass. Into Infernape? Because that's all you have left, right? Okay. That's not the worst thing ever. I mean, the more you keep switching, the more you're gonna take Stealth Rocks damage, so... I'm gonna live a Thunder Wave, why not? Close combat. Oh, you might not live! Okay. I'm gonna actually just go into Evanova and Earthquake here. Yeah, Driftblim didn't even buff itself. I kinda thought it would like... Knowing that- knowing now that it has Baton Pass. I kinda thought it would like try to buff itself with like Stockpile or whatever it is. Alright, hit with that Earthquake. I'm not too afraid of another Mach Punch. Yep. And there goes the battle. I mean, 
that's, that's what it has, right? Stockpile? Or am I thinking of a different move? Swallow? The... I don't know. Okay, it's gonna take more stealth rock damage. Um... Will-O-Wisp, that's fine. Even burned, I should be able to take that out. The fact that Ivana was not outspeeding as many things as I thought she would is a little concerning. You... are... Huh. Well, that actually takes them out of Hyper Potion range. Minimize. Okay, here we go. Oh, if it baton passed with minimize, that would have been nasty. Oh, or here we go. If it only does one, we're fine. And that's all she wrote. I feel like I got lucky with the RNG. <laughs> yeah, I was say, if minimized baton pass would have happened, that would have been way worse. Um, I don't know why it didn't do that. Huh. I can see why people are saying that uh, Flint is a real pain. my full restore. There it is. So far this Elite Four is not too bad. But I think I'm just getting kind of lucky. Much moo moo milk. Why did I buy so much? <clears throat> All right. On to Lucian. Yeah, if his Infernape got a minimize, that would have been. Oof. I only want to think about it. <laughs> that would have been terrible. All right. Well, I'm sure this guy's gonna set up all kinds of screens on me, so I'm gonna set up stealth rocks on him. What book he's reading? You can see the cover, but like you couldn't see any words on it. <clears throat> he's reading the strategy guide. Yep, yeah, here comes the guy that's gonna set up all the screens under also part fairy crap. Okay, you do have a fairy type. You know what would have been great right now? Ivana having poison jam. Uh, we're gonna stealth rocks and get you out of there. Unless he goes for like a light screen first. Reflect. Crap. Alright, here we go. And he got both. It's not shocking, but like, ugh. He's got the power of Prima, I'm not concerned. <laughs> okay, go for the air, air slash for the flinch. I'm gonna go for the bug buzz. Yeah, I'll bet you it's a light clay too. That's what I would do. Barely did anything. Oh god, that's not good. What are my options here? I could set up my own screens. I mean, we gotta get rid of this Mr. Mime.
clean hit with another bug buzz. Psychic. Oh, we're living. God, that does nothing. Okay, well, he's gonna use another psychic. No doubt about that. I don't outspeed him or I'd use Destiny Bond. Dazzling Gleam, you! Okay. Crunch isn't gonna do it, but... Yeah, okay. I thought he'd go for Psychic. Oof. Have I at least start out the freaking screens yet? Okay, we're gonna do we're gonna do one of the Elite Four specials. I don't want to resort to item spam though. Psychic. If I get this thing any lower, it's gonna heal, and that's gonna be bad for business. But I don't really have much of a choice here. Especially if it's light clay, this thing's gonna keep its screens up for like... Okay, there goes the reflect. <sighs> get some free damage in with Bug Buzz? Yep, there's the full restore. Okay. Man, I don't even have Brick Break. If I had Brick Break, I could, like, send Sheridan in, but nope. <sighs> I just got Psychic and kill me. Alright, this is annoying. Um, hmm. Here's another idea. Oof. That did a lot. Let's put up our own screen. T-Wave. Has he not put up another Reflect? No, he hasn't, has he? Mm, that's pain. Nice. And down he goes. And we get a free switch in back to Lita, we heal her back up, and then we try to sweep with bug moves. Okay. Giraffe rig, alright. Oh, I forgot we got Stealth Rocks out too. All right, let's use our second healing item.
Light screen, yeah, of course you do. Why are you such a pain, my guy? Thunderbolt. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there goes my light screen. Rip. Thunderbolt still won't kill me. Right? Not unless it's a crit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Medicharum. Am I faster? Is the question that I have to think of here. If I'm faster, Destiny Bond. If not, I'm dead. I mean, I'm dead either way, but like. I'm gonna go for it. Alright. And with that dazzling gleam. High jump kick. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Okay, well, now that you don't have the light screen anymore. Why did that do so much damage? Come on, just knock it out. Thank you. Wow. Okay, that thing hits like an actual truck. La Kazam! Uh, Dolan. I love you, but I think we have to let you go here. <sighs> He's still got a bronze on yet, too, doesn't he? Hey Ghost Phoenix, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hmm. I might actually have to use a revive on someone. Future sight. Okay. I'm not too worried about that. I'm sure it'll come back to bite me, but at the moment I'm not too worried about it. Shockwave, okay, yep. Rip. If I can outspeed and get a close combat in. Alexam's defenses are paper thin. We're gonna have to deal with Future Sight, too. But if I can just outspeed and kill it, it shouldn't be that terrifying. What's my speed? Oh, I have a speed down nature, that's right! Oh, okay. There's no way. There's no way I outspeed this. There's no way. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, I guess we have to switch.
Okay, take the feature site. Still did way more damage than I would have liked. I can stall this thing out if I have to. Except now I wish I had white screen on you. <laughs> oh, I don't want to use revives, but I might have to here. Hit yourself, come on. Ah. It's kind of banking on that. Oh. <laughs> All right, my guy. That's uh, not good. You're going to fully heal that thing, aren't you? Healing items as he used. Used one on Mr. Mime. Yeah, he's gonna heal it. Third healing item go. Yep. Oh, if it had just hit itself. I think he's got another full store he can use, but I'm not entirely sure. You're just gonna keep using Shockwave, aren't you? I don't really see the point to put up a Reflect right now. I think we just Flash Cannon this thing. Real glad I put leftovers on Franklin. Holy crap. Come on, hit yourself. There we go. Actually, that could be a problem. That puts him in. No, it doesn't. Get hecked. Oh, it was an affection crit. Well. <laughs> Let's go, Franklin. Alright, he's gonna send out his own Bronzong, and now we got a whole thing of issues. So lucky the AI was being done with that Alakazam. Do I want to know what it could have done to me? Alright, there's no way this thing doesn't have screens. Nasty plot. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised I didn't use that. Ooh, get hecked! <sighs> okay. God, do you have heat proof or do you have levitate? If you have heat proof, I'm so screwed. If you have levitate, that's actually ideal. I can't imagine you have a physical move. Maybe Gyro Ball, but like... I'm gonna put it up anyway. I think he had a Levitate one in the originals, so yeah. I agree with Zeon's analysis here. We're doing it, otherwise we're gonna be here all day. I'm 
gonna see if I can try to get through this without revives. Payback. Okay, that's not too bad. Alright, he doesn't have any screens up. We have a special attack increasing nature. We've got stab. I don't want to greed for the nasty plot. Do it. Yes! Alright. Whew, okay. God, those screens. There's no way one of them didn't have a light glare. There's no way. Oh, okay. Alright, can I do the same thing with Cynthia? Gonna try not to use any... any revives in battle. But I'm not keeping to that promise. We're gonna try, not... We're, we're just gonna try, we're gonna see what happens. Just gonna use hyper potions. Just gonna use all the Moo Moo milks I had, but there's no point. Actually, no, we'll use one Moo Moo. <sighs> okay. So we go in with Ivanova, we use Stealth Rocks. That's a given. Now the problem is, do I want to set up on Spirit Tomb? I don't think I can set up Sheridan, because I'm pretty sure Spirit Tomb has Psychic. You know what? We are going to set up. Okay, here we go. I was going to try to set up with Nasty Plot, but I can't because I know I'm like 95% sure it has Psychic. Sucks to lose Crunch, because it's such a good dark type move, but she does not have Togekiss. She has Gastrodon in this game. No, I didn't mean to walk in. Alright, whatever. I'm listening to the piano. Alright gamers, here we go. Let's get it. Alright, let's put up the rocks. Dark balls, you can live that. Yeah. Let's put up a sword stance. Don't get crit. Don't get crit. And 
a special defense drop either. Good. Later, Kvar. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Do I go for another sword stance? <laughs> oh god, I mean, I could go for the plus six. But I'm one crit away from just getting real roughed up. Biscuit for a biscuit. Here we go. Nice. All right, we've got a plus six guard shop on the field. My Lodic. I've heard horrendous things about this My Lodic, but I don't think it all speeds me. That sucks. It has Ice Beam. If it outspeeds, I'm screwed, but I don't think it outspeeds. No, not swap. Flame Orb, I know that for a fact, because it's got Marvel Scale. It doesn't have Quick Claw, so here we go. Yes! Get out of here. Alright. That's one of the scary things done. Oh, do you have priority? You might have extreme speed. Oh, Dragon Pulse, she's faster. No, nope, okay. I that's fine. We got rid of two really big threats right there. Sphere, Dragon Pulse. I guess she doesn't have. Well, she could still have extreme speed. I kind of want to go with the nasty plot. This might be greedy. Or 
Ultimate Sphere, here it comes. And we don't outspeed, yep. That was greedy. That was greedy. Alright. Crap. That sucks. Um, hmm. Let me think here. Man, I'm pretty sure Sheridan just gets outsped, goes down. So let's just get that over with. Unless she misses. Nah. Ugh, that was greedy and dumb. Alright. That confuse ray. Yes, we plot. Oh, Lord, here we go. <laughs> oh, boy, here we go. I don't think we win this now. Get yourself. Come on. Yes. Okay. Franklin, I need you to survive and I need you to KO this thing. Oh, he snapped out of confusion immediately, dude. That wasn't even affection. Yes! Okay. Oh, alright. You should send it on next Gastrodon. Yep. Battle of the tanks. <laughs> heal Franklin. I feel like I've healed too much in this battle already. I have levitate, so it's not like an earthquake's that big of a deal. I wonder. Hmm. I have an idea. Scald, okay. Don't burn me. Do you have leftovers? Yes, you do. Okay. Doesn't really matter too much. Although, that lowers my speed. Ooh, how much does Tail Glow go up to? Or is it three? I can't remember what drastically is. I think that's three. If it has Storm Dream, I don't want to use Surf, so I'm going to hit with Ice Beam. That's neutral damage. 
I think one tail glow is all we got, because I don't want to get my speed lowered. If I can avoid it. Mm. Ah, crap. Alright, well I probably don't outspeed Garchomp anymore. Raid. Okay. Hit with that ice beam. Oh my god, you're faster. Yeah, I definitely don't outspeed Garchomp anymore. Ugh. Thought you could at least outspeed a Rose Raid. Crap. Sludge bomb, come on. Yes, I should have went for Bug Buzz. Full restore. Oh god, she's still got four restores. Do you have priority? No, I don't think it does. I want to try that on Garchomp, but I don't think I'm gonna get the chance. Yeah, I think you're just dead to Sludge Bomb. Yep! Alright. Still faster than me, wow. <sighs> and she's got a Yachi on this thing. Or whatever the ice reducing berry is, so I can't even use Ice Punch here. Can't he wave it? <sighs> Weighing my options, give me a second. It's clear I'm gonna have to max revive someone. We don't we, we don't win this without revives. Which sucks. I can't remember if, if Destiny Bond is priority, and I don't think it is, but if it is, then this is free. not, we're in a heck of a lot of trouble. It's so not you have to outspeed. Okay. Yeah, so there's no point in bringing Lita back. <sighs> Bring Dolan back. She's tanky. She's got Dazzling Gleam. Could try to do that. Try to bait the EQ. Huh. 
Uh, we could use my own guard chomp, but I don't think she outspeeds. I need information. Franklin has levitate. I need to know what her speed stat is. It's probably like as far as it's gonna go. I mean, if her rose rate outsped my electivire, there's no way. There's no way. Probably got max IVs across the board. I mean, I could bait out the earthquakes, and in Franklin, you get the levitate, but then what? <laughs> 31 IV, 252 speed, Jolly Garchomp. Of course it's Jolly. Yeah, there's nothing on my team that outspeeds that. I try to get the reflect up, but like. Okay, let's try it. Okay. She can't hit me with two of her moves. But she gets set up on me with swords dancing and I'm just so screwed. Lucario outspeeding my own guard chomp was such a pain in the butt. Alright, let's just see what she does. Dragon Claw, okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. Hit it with the Reflect. Oh god, here comes Sword Dance. Franklin, Max Pro Vespi, send out Electivire when Franklin dies, debate EQ. So should Vespi on EQ and Destiny Bond? Does Destiny Bond carry over through turns? I thought it had to be at the same, like, I thought you had to use it on the same turn. Like, I thought you had to be, like, first, get Destiny Bond off on the same turn. I don't know. Uh, Confusory? Oh my god. She hits herself, that's gonna be a lot of damage. yourself. Is that full of store range? And this gen Destiny Bomb will fail? What? The next turn, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. 
we do it. Oh, the full resort! I wasn't sure if it was in range or not. It was so close. Of course she was in range. What are you thinking? <laughs> Another confuser, eh? Uh. <laughs> yeah, Dragon Claw doesn't kill, but it's... It hoits. <laughs> it hurts. I gotta watch for the reflect prompt, too. I think we can do this. Yep. I think we can do this with Franklin. Sweat for psychic. It's okay. It's okay. No, we've we've got this. We've got this in the bag. There's no way. There's no way we don't have this. <sighs> Unless she crits. Nope. <laughs> Is she gonna full restore again? get a free confuser right now if she full restores if she doesn't I should go for psychic oh my god it's a bit of a gamble isn't it how many full restores she used? <sighs> Safest option would probably be just to heal, but I could get a free confuser out if she heals. I mean, I think we both heal on this turn. It's a safe play. I mean, if I heal, I'm back to full. We do this whole song and dance again. If she heals like that... Okay, we're doing this again. <laughs> At least Franklin's having fun. <laughs> He's thrilled to bits. Nice. Okay, and now we're back to this. Holy crap, what a battle. I think this easily trumps my issues with the my battle against Steven in the Hoenn remix. Whew, okay, let me think. Reflect's gone, so we go for Reflect again. Fusion's still up, come on, hit yourself. Nope. Oh, no, a crit, yep, of course. I had a feeling that was gonna happen eventually. Dang. 
Well, you don't get to be the champion without knowing how to use max revives and full restores. Really didn't want to use them, though. That sucks. I need another ace in the hole. Thought she was already at plus three, <laughs> or plus six, rather. Oh my god, Affection's OP, dude! It's so stupid! <laughs> okay. We're living. Barely. Oh my god, I've abused so many items. She's gotta be running out of those soon, right? Oh! I think leftovers put me over the kill range. Oof. Uh, yep, we're fine. Please do not miss this. <sighs> okay, we've got to reflect up. <sighs> do I switch to Manaphy right now? I can't hit her with Ice Beam, she's got the stupid berry. I mean, I can, but like... But we have Dazzling Gleam. But it's not... I mean, neither one of them are a stab. You have lower defenses, you'll just die. Plus, there's no way you outspeed. <sighs> Come for that nasty pot on Sheridan was also so stupid. Well, can't say I didn't make my own little misplays in this one. I think we have to keep using this strategy. Come on, hit yourself, please. God. Okay, leftovers will get me up over the ledge. Hit yourself, come on. Oh my god. Yeah, 
think we need to reflect here too, don't we? Yep. yourself please It doesn't matter if she doesn't hit herself, I can't do anything. If she shakes off confusion, I'm screwed. I think this is just a GG. Or she misses. Confuse Ray in case, I guess. Nah. F. I mean, we have a max revive, but at this point, nothing I do is gonna fix this. Survive bronze long. I mean, if I max survive bronze long, bronze long is just gonna go down to. Get it over. We're gonna try it. Earthquake, current. Oh, the lens survived. We could have got a free switch in. I mean, there's no way. It's, it's a plus eight or plus eight, plus six. <sighs> Cover reflect. Nope. GG. Whew, okay. So close so far. My big my biggest misplay was trying to set up a nasty plot on Sheridan. I should have just went for the flamethrower. I had a free switch in and I just wasted it. Go again. Now I'm debating. Now I'm debating. <sighs> I need to look this up. So 
Cynthia BDSP. I just need to know her move set on Spirit Tomb. Yeah, it's got Psychic, just like I thought. Okay. I wonder... What kind of held items do I have? Yeah, I mean that's... The obvious answer is lead with mana fee, two tail glows, and sweep. I hate that though. That's why I didn't do it last time. The thought crossed my mind. That's why I set up with Garchomp instead of mana fee, even though mana fee was definitely... The one to go with. Oh, I just I hate that. <laughs> Alright. But I think we might do it this time. Do I have a... I'm thinking. Because this is what we did last time. We set up on the Spirit Tomb, knocked out the Spirit Tomb, the Milo took, and then just got swept by the Garchomp. Because Lucario is also a thing. Dude, that Franklin play was so good. I wonder if I should give it light clay. No, nah, the leftovers is too important. Just way too important. Alright, take two. I really hope I don't win this with the Manaphy sweep. I feel like my strategies on the last one were a lot more thought out. And even then, that was a little shaky. I threw it with the nasty plot play. I also don't know if I got hit with that rock tomb, if that would have made any difference. Like, lowering mana piece speed was kind of tragic there. I forget who had the rock tomb, but I think it was Gastrodon. <laughs> That was also a bit of a feels bad, man. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think it was Gastrodon that had it. Alright, here we go again. Oh, I could have just hit it with Dazzling Gleam. Well. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. Ooh, Reserate already, alright. <sighs> we know it all speeds. <sighs> if it outspeeds me, and it will. Then we die. I didn't outspeed it last time. Oh, right, 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 because of the minus one from Rock Tomb. Okay, I'll try. No, nah, wow, still faster. It's fine, it's fine. Alright, we bait it. It's gonna use Sludge Bomb again, we bait it. 100% bait. for the reflect. I'm gonna reflect up. Oh, it's got Shadow Ball! It's fine. Spideff drop. That's unfortunate. Gun mind is risky. People are inviting me to play League of Legends. I don't want to play League of Legends right now. I want to beat this Gastron's face in. Don't burn, don't burn.
rock tomb. <laughs> it's gonna lower my speed. Kind of shocked it's not still going for Scald. Not speed anything now, though. God, she's got an answer for everything. It is Rock Tomb, haha. <laughs> oh, now we're really in trouble. I might as well just do this one over again. I wonder. I think we go back to doing what we were doing the first time. We got so far. My biggest misplay was just going for that nasty pot. X speed. Oh, I don't want to have to use an X item. Do I even have X items? I do. I don't have any X speed though. That looks defense.
Oh, Dawn's out front. I don't want that. Third time's the charm, or whatever they say. Man, I, do I have to resort to X items? Ah! Got to swallow my pride on this one. He's driving their very loud motorcycle by my window. Thank you, sir. Or madam. <laughs> Not in the mood. I'm gonna hate myself for this. Okay, here we go. after knocking Lucario out. Sounds good. Now 
nasty plot, you stupid idiot. Why didn't you do that the first time? that the first time around, we probably wouldn't be here right now. Dazzling Gleam, you... Okay. I mean, we would've probably went down to the Rose Raid, but still. This would've been a drastically different battle. I like I should heal here. So on to regard top, but whatever. The one where I use the cheap tactics is gonna win. Alright. <laughs> she didn't even go for the dragon claw. Are you kidding me? Okay, whatever. I don't even feel good about that. I feel like the game just took pity on me. <sighs> I actually don't feel good about this. <sighs> what an anticlimax, dude. kind of bummed me out. I would have felt a lot better if I had won with the first attempt, even with all the spam items. At least I got to slow forward to my Nuzlocke run. I don't even know if I want to Nuzlocke this game anymore. <laughs> I haven't even left- I haven't even gotten to the Eterna City, uh, galactic thing yet. Yeah, at least I can say it was a cool team. At least it wasn't Manaphy that broke it. So I don't feel as bad about using a Manaphy now, but had I done this playthrough over again, I probably would have used like a Pelipper or a Luminion. I just kind of forgot they existed when making this team. Uh, I don't know, guys. That's <laughs> I feel bummed out. <laughs> 
I just don't like X items. But I don't know how we would have... I mean, we would have been here for like another hour or two. We would have had it the first try if I didn't make some silly misplays. We also would have had it the first time if her Lucario was greedy and went for Nasty Plow like I did. <laughs> Okay, we're zooming in on these drifts even more and more. <laughs> all in all, I'd say this is a fine remake. I know last stream I said it was probably worse than Oros, and right now I'm not entirely sure where I sit on that. Because I did think about it more in between streams, and I'm not entirely sure if I stand by that anymore. They're probably pretty close. Just <laughs> disappointing in different ways, but also really good in different ways. So. But definitely no Heart Gold Soul Silver, which I don't think we're ever gonna get again, so you know. <laughs> it is what it is. Apparently, the post game is like where a lot of interesting stuff happens, like in terms of like rematch fights and whatnot, so. Oh, yeah, we never found Rotom. Well, because it's in the post game, because Diamond said it was in the post game, and it was in the post game, and Diamond and Pearl is a faithful remake. Can't have minor elements from Platinum, you silly goose. I don't think you can get a Rotom until midnight. I think they changed it to... Actually, I think... Was it always midnight? Yeah, it was always midnight. Oh, I don't know. As I would rate it right now, I'd probably say... Heart Gold Soul Silver is the best remake. Followed by Fire Red Leaf Green. Followed by either or us or this game. Followed by Let's Go. And I don't even honestly, I might even put Let's Go above some of these. I might even put Let's Go above this one. I put I might put Let's Go above. Well, I don't know. Eight p.m. and even oh, I thought it was midnight. I don't know. I got mixed feelings on this one. Probably feeling the same way as I did about Oros after really thinking about it. Where I was like, I'm really mixed on this. I don't know, after Fire after Heart Gold Soul Silver Fire Red Leaf Green, it gets real muddied. Definitely not what I would have hoped for with the Sinnoh remake, but like, I didn't get what I hoped for with a Hoenn remake either, so. <laughs> I can't say I'm shocked, but for what we did get, it's fine. This looks super imposed in the foreground. A oh, Mystery Dungeon remake's fantastic. I'd play that over the original in a heartbeat. And see, that's what a remake should do! It just... Whatever, I'm not gonna get into this. <sighs> Man, I'm just... Man, I'm just bummed. <laughs> that was such an anticlimax. I really wish I had won on that first one. Even with all the item spam. Or the heal item spam. Oh well. Say la vie. Do I have a full Pokedex? I do. Well, seen anyway. Uh, I'm gonna start the post-game stuff and then end stream after we get the decks. Oh, wow. 
playtime is exactly 62 hours. No, I'm gonna keep the game. I always keep the games I get. I don't. I rarely sell them back out. I wish I hadn't also bought Shining Pearl, but you know. I don't know. I mean, these aren't bad games. Like they're just <sighs> confusing. I guess would be a good term for it. Probably stream these one more time at least for main story stuff. We'll do the post game, the fight area, and all that other glorious stuff. Um, but as for what I'm doing uh, otherwise, I'll probably just do it on my own time. Maybe I'll do some shiny hunting streams uh, with the poker radar and all that. Maybe. Oh yeah, I forgot he shows up here. And there it is, guys! You got your national decks back! Ah, <sighs> boy. And the pal park's opened. There's one thing from the PAL Park I'd like to show off, but like, other than that, I don't really care about showing off the PAL Park that much, or Randomus, whatever the heck it's called now, Park. Because it's literally just catching legendaries, so. It's not super entertaining to watch. I don't know, we'll do like a post-game thing. Like a post-game stream where I'll do like the story to get Heatran. Maybe we'll get, um... Garatina. I couldn't think of the word Garatina. Um, the Gym Leader rematches are pretty cool. I don't know. There might be another stream or two with this, but we'll see how much I want to do, like, on stream and off stream. But I would consider this the pseudo finale for the Brilliant Diamond streams. I want to at least get access to the fight area so I can go in the underground and finally get Spirit Tomb, for God's sake. <laughs> Jeez. I'd be hesitant to say, like, I want to play Platinum over these games. It's just, these games handled HMs so much better. HMs are so bad in Gen 4. They're so bad. That's the only reason I'm, like, even thinking to myself, like, would I play Platinum over these games? But that, that is the sole reason, and I don't know if that's enough to keep me away. It's kind of a sick remake. Re yeah, remake, remix. I do like that there are gym leader rematches. I can't remember. Did Oros have gym leader rematches? I don't think it did. Do I still have the bear? Do I still have the battle with like Flint and Volker here, or is that just platinum? Save and find out. I guess that's platinum. <laughs> of course it is. Poker radar, point card. Wait, how do you get the shiny charm? Do you have to fill out the national decks? I mean, not that it matters, but. Or maybe it's filling out the Sinnoh Dex, like, to its completion. I actually don't know what the Pokedex rewards are. I knew Poker Radar was something. Okay. 
Okay, natural decks. And Sinnoh decks. Okay, so Sinnoh decks is basically done. Just need to find the starters. Finally get Spirit Tomb. <laughs> And breed some Pokemon, because uh, I don't have a ditto. Oh yeah, I guess we should check and see if our where our Mesprit is, huh? Eh. Do I feel like dealing with Mesprit right now? Not really. I don't know, there's a lot more things that we could still do. I gotta decide what I want to do just by myself and what I want to do on stream. But I think for now, that's probably where I'm gonna call it. Um, this is a good stream. The Elite Four was pretty good. Uh, Lucian was probably my favorite fight. Hey, King Smoke, what's up? How you doing? Um... Cynthia's fight was great. It was really difficult, but like, I'm a little bummed at how I managed to overcome it. <laughs> After what would have been such a cool way to win it with the first fight, but oh well. I'll get over it. Alright, I'm gonna go hunt myself a ditto and uh, do some off-screen stuff, I suppose. And that's gonna do it for me, guys. I'm gonna go find someone to raid, and then, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. For maybe more of this, maybe not? I don't know. We'll see. Um, there's a lot more things I'd like to stream, but with, like, all this medical stuff going on, I don't know when I'll get a chance. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much just streaming whenever I actually feel good enough to stream. So. And today was one of my better days, so. Oh, let's see. Who be streaming right now that I could send you guys to? Special events. Why are so many people streaming special events? Oh, Game Awards, right. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, I know who I'm gonna send you to. Uh, there's like no one streaming Pokemon right now because everybody's doing the Game Awards. Uh, so I'm gonna send you on over to someone who's playing Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> This guy is a Pokemon YouTuber that I very much like. I like his videos. They are quite unique. Or, did I say Pokemon? I meant Kingdom Hearts YouTuber. Um, very unique takes on very many things. Very unique ideas and cool video essays and concepts for the Kingdom Hearts series. Uh, looks like they're doing a Yuzora crit level 1 run, so godspeed. Anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for me. I will see you next time. Peace. I need to raid uh, to anybody because every time I type in someone's name, I've tried to raid like four people now. And Twitch is like, an error has occurred. So, you know what? Just have a good night, everybody. I'll see you next time. <laughs> we tried. I don't know what's going on today. It's. Eh. Have a good rest of your night. And thank you to everybody that followed. Much appreciated. <laughs>